Welcome to DNN Tutorials, brought to you by Dynamite, the DNN Specialist Division of BBI Brandboost. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to apply the basic SEO elements to the structure of your DNN 9 page for search engine optimization. Our DNN tutorial number 5 on how to add a page to a website built in DNN 9 briefly covered some of the fields used. However, this tutorial will provide further information so you have the solid foundations of SEO built into each of your pages. As you can see from the screen, we're already logged in as the website administrator. The persona bar, which is positioned to the left, is where you can see the administration controls available to you to manage your DNN 9 website. By hovering over the content icon, your DNN site will display the content sections along with the subsections of pages and recycle bin. To access the list of pages on your DNN 9 website, click on the Pages link. The Pages Administration panel will be displayed to screen, and from here you can view all the pages available on your website. By clicking on the name of an existing page, you will be able to view and edit the settings for that page. This will display three main tabs along the top, each with additional settings. These tabs are Details, Permissions, and advanced. The Details tab provides three key fields for SEO. The first is the page name. This allows you to name the page not only for the human users, but also give it an SEO friendly name matching the subject matter of the page. It's good to consider the page name in advance of just adding it in so that your new page has the best SEO start you can give it. And remember, the page name and the position of the page in your website structure, which is its parent page, also determines the URL or web address of your page. The second field is the page title. This is the text which will be displayed in your web browser and in Google search results, as well as Bing and Yahoo, etc. Now, according to Google, at the time of producing this tutorial, you have a maximum of 60 characters. So, if, like Dynamite, you are the UK's leading DNN developer for DNN website development, then 60 characters is perfect, as this text totals just 54. Remember, it does include spaces. So, for the page title field, remember to consider the keywords you want your page to be found in search, as well as ensuring the title itself is human-friendly. After all, DNN repeated 12 times, with a comma, will be under 60 characters, but this flood approach of your page title will be neither human-friendly nor Google-friendly. The third field is the page description. This is the text which tends to be displayed by Google in search results just below the page title. So, if you are searching for DNN 9 tutorials, then this is what you would see in Google. Now, according to Google, at the time of producing this tutorial, you have a maximum of 160 characters for the description field. So you must ensure that it is both descriptive for the human, as well as contains strong keywords promoting your product or service. And remember, just like the title field, the 160 characters includes spaces. The Advanced tab provides access to four key fields for SEO. The first is sitemap priority. Now, assuming you have set up your sitemap correctly, the sitemap priority field allows you to select the desired priority of your page between 0 and 1.0. This helps determine how the page is ranked in Google with respect to other pages on your site. Now, typically, 0.5 is the default. However, if you want your page to be considered more of a priority than one of the other pages on your website, then give it a high priority. The second field in the SEO section of the Advanced tab is Allow Indexing. This setting controls whether a page should be indexed by search crawlers. It uses the index no index values for robots meta tag. In plain English, if this is in the on position, then the page will be crawled by Google. If, however, it is in the off position, then you're telling Google not to index the page. Not good for SEO. The third field in the SEO section of the Advanced tab is URLs for this page. 
This is where you would pass link juice from an old page which Google has indexed to your new or existing page. That way, old pages you want to delete but still have an SEO value will still provide traffic to your site. The final field in the SEO section of the Advanced tab is Page Header Tags. Here you can enter any meta tags that should be rendered in the head tag of the HTML for this page. Typically, this is used for canonical tags, open graph tags and Twitter cards for social media sharing of your page. And finally, click the X button to come out of the Pages administration so you can now start adding in SEO-rich content to your new page.